adaptive teaching it's a real buzzword at the moment but it can be difficult to visualize every day in the classroom so i've offered in the blog some practical strategies as well as a leadership and an academic perspective i guess it's important to note first that it's nothing new despite the recent attention it's received the phrase adaptive teaching has been central to the teacher standards here in england since 2012 and for the last decade many of us will feel that we've been blighted by misinterpretations and myths of the phrase differentiation so how do we stop this happening with adaptive teaching the challenge lies in how adaptive teaching is implemented how it's observed how it's evaluated in and out of the lesson so firstly let's start with some definitions number one knowing when and how to differentiate that's what it says in the teacher standards two understanding the factors that inhibit learning and how do we overcome them three being aware of students social physical and intellectual development four adapting to meet the diverse needs of your students so it's one of many other factors when we think about the teacher standards and its definitions so what should we do well we need to i believe take an in classroom and an out of classroom perspective I recommend that we should personalize the curriculum and adopt an overtime approach. So we all do this. It's not 30 strategies to meet the needs of 30 students every single lesson. We also need to provide a variety of instructional strategies. So think about you know, being flexible and if things aren't working, we switch to plan B. How do we know when to do that? Third recommendation, we need to provide an ongoing assessment. So quizzes, written verbal feedback, question, all those things we currently do. It's nothing new, it's great teaching. And four, what happens outside of the classroom? Now this is something we might not think about. Talking with other teachers, other students, and our families. And this data becomes our planning tool for next lesson. And potentially it also should uh, influence how we might think about delivering critical thinking skills in our classrooms underpinned by the curriculum and all those different things. So in the blog post, there's also an academic paper and it helps us understand the brain's role in learning, which informs how we deliver all our instructional techniques, something I'm quite fascinated about. So the message, your evidence base for adaptive teaching should be vast. It should be responsive in the moment and it should be an overtime approach in the classroom as well as outside the classroom so i hope that helps make sure you download the pdf resource to grab some actual ideas in the classroom i'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching